Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And today we're gonna to be testing some chrome paint. Uh, in particular, this Duralumin paint. Um, I got this off of Etsy. A couple of you guys recommended it uh, in the comment section and uh, I grabbed some. So we will be testing it. Now I showed you other chromes that I've gotten in recently. Uh, Zero brand chrome, gravity brand chrome, chrome. sorry about that. Uh, this is uh, some of their car colors, but this is the chrome set right here. And the set comes with the black base. And this is their chrome sealer, so we will be testing that. And uh, this is my E7. I figured um, I'm going to test this on its own, and I think I'm going to compare these two in one video because these are both uh, auto color paint companies. They pretty much just make uh, colors for cars, car kits. So uh, I figured they're a competing brand, so we'll compare those uh, in one separate video. And then uh, I will do the uh, E7 in its own video with their sealer, which I actually, I really love this sealer. It came out great in the, uh, the sealer chrome test. So uh, we will be doing that as that. We're going to compare those two together, and that will be in its own video. But for today, we're going to focus on just this Duralumin. Um, this was only, I could only find it on Etsy, and I guess you can link to it from their Facebook and their Instagram page, but uh, it's the Digital Armory, and I will put a link below as to where to get this. Now, this was $20 for this bottle, and with $10 shipping, it was $30, bucks. but um, I paid, to compare, uh, I paid $30 for that, so uh, that'll tell you, and that's before shipping. This is $30 retail, whereas this is $20 retail. I don't even remember what the shipping. I probably threw this in with some other paints. This is their shine silver premium silver plating this isn't quite chrome uh, same as them but this is like 20 so these two alone was 50 and I think this is four times the size of this I think this is four mil is this I have to see what the sizes are on here there you go 24 bucks so I got it a little more nope didn't say yeah 24 for the plate and 20 and 29 for the chrome so what does that tell you so when you see the size and the price uh, take that into account now we can also take into account this all clad chrome that's about eight bucks probably ten locally with uh, tax so um, this is definitely four times the size of this so ten it's about forty dollars to thirty with the shipping so uh, it, it, it's a pretty good value believe it or not it's, it's actually a good value um, now it comes with no instructions, but I know what I'm doing here. It's got to go over a shiny base, and um, for this, I used my Tamiya TS14 Black Spray. Uh, it's been coming in handy. For, that's why I have multiple cans. I bought a case of it to do uh, get these spoons prepped quick in, in large amounts. So I'll have uh, black spoons glossed with that, ready to go. Um, they also, I read in a small recommendation to spray it over any shiny uh, dark base. So what I did was I took Tamiya Gloss Clear and sprayed these dull spoons with the gloss. You'll probably see the difference there. So we'll see how that works. In fact, we'll spray some over the dull spoon and we'll do it over the gloss spoon to uh, see the difference. Now also what I did was... I sprayed a couple of Gumpla pieces. This was dull. This is nothing on it. And this is shiny. See it? So we'll see how that works on that. And I sprayed... I'm off camera a little bit, guys. I sprayed a couple of Gumpla pieces here. We'll see how it works on here. This is like a flame. One of those clear plastic orange flames from one of the Gundams that uh, I didn't use. So it has a lot of lines to it. So we'll see how that works, too. And... Um, that's it. But uh, I'm off camera here again. Uh, what we're going to use for this is my uh, Procon PS270. That's uh, 0.2 uh, millimeter needle. And we're going to spray it with a light air pressure. Early test, prove that out. I'll show you the results with a larger needle and more air pressure. Um, I'll show you at the end of the video. But we're going to do this with 15 psi using this airbrush, a 0.2 millimeter needle. And um, that's it. You spray it straight out of the jar, like most of them. You can see it here. Um, it shook really quick. There was not much settled in the bottom, whereas... I'm going to reach off camera again here. The all clad, you can see that it settles. See, it's all at the bottom. Look at it. You can't see the 
solvent. See one there, see it? It's all stuck to the bottom. This, it looked like that for a minute, but barely any shaking. And um, it just came right up. And uh, it's been like this for a few days, so it really hasn't even settled. So it's a really good blend. It is a good blend. And um, so that's it. So you're gonna give it a quick shake and just gonna put some directly into the airbrush and onto the pieces. So anyway, um, that's the overview. Let's head over to the booth and we'll bring our candy plates. We're gonna try it on this candy red, the black spoons and everything else I showed you guys. And uh, we'll see how this stuff works. All right guys, we'll see you at the booth. All right guys, here we are at the booth. Brush is all set. Give another quick shake. And let's go to town. Let's fill it up. Might as well fill it up right on camera here. How about that? Got a lot to spray, so let's put a good amount in here to start with. Look at it. it turned, it's already dried shiny on the rim. Look at this. <laughs> that was cool. All right. There we go. All right. We're going to start off with the requisites. Gloss black spoon. Now, in practicing here, um, trying to get a real nice spoon here. With practicing, you're gonna go very light. Now, this is on 15 psi. We're gonna go very dainty. And you can kind of see the chrome is already coming into play. And I found that. Um, when I looked at it, I said, oh, it's getting hazy, but uh, as it dries, the haze disappears. It's hard to, uh, hard to see on the camera. And it dries very fast. Really fast. All right, let me put this aside. Hold on, guys. Grab another piece. All right. Let's see how it looks over the shiny glossed spoon. Coming out good. And this will glow, this will dry to a shine. All right. Let's try a gumpla piece. I found this to be, in my uh, pre-testing, on the darker side. So I, I think this compares closely to uh, All Clad's Black Chrome. That's, um, I thought it looked dark and then uh, in comparisons here, I, I realize it, it really does compare cl very closely to uh, All Clad's um, Dark Chrome. And you can buff it out. It's it's pretty durable, man. It's one of the most durable ones I've seen so far. One of these I'll load it up, and I'll show you uh, what happens when we load it up. We put this aside. Come on, guys. Reach over the camera. Reach over the camera backwards. All right. Let's see how it looks over this uh, crazy flame piece. Awesome. I hope it looks good under the bench lights when I show you guys once this stuff dries. Good piece for testing too. It's got a lot of curves to it. All right. All right. Let us check it now. 
over this gloss gray. Let's see what happens. Because of the gray, I don't want to really put a lot on this because I think that's going to turn into one like a flat steel color. It really looks terrific though. Wow, it looks great. Such a fine paint too. I didn't think it was going to come out like chrome on this, but the effect of it is really nice. Real nice. Let me put that aside. Let's try it over this uh, more dense piece here. Looks like nothing's going on, but you're gonna have to keep turning the piece. See how I'm doing this? It's so I can see in the reflection, the coverage. And um, it covers really quick. That bottle's gonna take you a long way. I see guys doing Mandalorian helmets and whatnot. You should easily get that coverage with that one bottle. And you don't wanna load it up because you're gonna lose the effect. I think this can go on a little heavier. Being a little too dainty here. There we go. Beautiful. It dries really nice too. That I know. All right, let's try it over something unique. Candy Apple Red. Now for this, goes without saying, you're going to have to put a lot more on. A lot more on, but we, we are getting a red chromish look. There we go. I like to, I want to get it covered so you don't see the red coming through as candy. I just want the chrome to look like red tinted chrome. I think that's what we got there. See it? Isn't that unique? Now, this isn't uh, just for this brand. You can do this with anything because I did it already with the Zero in practicing uh, four different effects and it looks good. Might even look better than this, the, the Zero one. How great is that? Well, let's try it, as I said, over a piece with no gloss on it at all. Now, what I do like about this is it's like you're getting a uh, another color. See it? You're going to get like uh, an aluminum, aluminum, trying to get the word right. Uh, look to something. Look at that. So now it's the same paint, just not glossed, and you're gonna get a whole separate effect. Basically, uh, you're gonna get two kinds of paint in this by painting it over uh, unglossed surfaces. Look at that. I mean, this, this looks awesome. It looks like an all-clad steel color. Really terrific. Um, anyway, guys, let me clean out the airbrush. We'll go over uh, the results at the bench, and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench with the results, and um, it's quite nice. This is the standard um, over the black spoon right there, and uh, look at that. It came out great. Um, I did two, one but not as coated as much. It's a little darker, and um, I'm going to throw some gloss coat on it just to see uh, while we're sitting here, see what happens. So this is it over the black spoon. Um, really really nice uh, this one I did earlier uh, in the day because I wanted to show you guys the durability so this is after a day actually um, this was just 20 minutes ago and uh, it is as durable as anything I've ever done let me uh, buff out all this knocks I just put out look at it nothing it's it's just super durable and um, we can oops Taking everything up with my masking tape. We can do a masking tape test, but 
you know, I didn't even test it this way, but I'm telling you nothing's going to happen because uh, it's just super, super durable. I mean, this is one of the best. This is my go-to chrome now for one that doesn't need a coating. I personally don't believe this needs a coating. Uh, this is the one I just sprayed. Nothing. And so uh, I'm impressed. Very impressed. Now this is over the glossed coated black spoon. Not as nice. It's trying to get the shine, but I mean over the deep shine of the the gloss black, uh, to me a paint, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. Well, in person you can really see the reflection. You can see the sharpness of my LED lights there. And on here, see it's all hazy, you can't see the sharpness of the lights. That's the giveaway on camera. Yeah, it's all hazy. But I tried. It's not bad though. Again, it gives you a whole separate look like this. Now I love this. This is over just the black plastic. Now we're getting a whole separate look. This is like a machine steel or a flat aluminum. I mean, it looks fantastic. And um, I'll show you some pieces I did on purpose with just uh, with just spraying it over the piece itself. Now, over these Gumpla pieces I painted black, beautiful. Again, super durable. I was just scratching this off camera. I realized how durable it really is. Again, this is on the... Uh, this is on the black chrome end of things. See, black chrome from Allclad. And, uh, but I always favored the black chrome. I think it has a more realistic look in the miniature world when you shrink it down. But, you know, it's, see, it's just when you get more angles and stuff, it's going to have more shadows, giving it more of a darker appearance. But I like, I like this look. Look at that. It's not giving you the ultra shine. Well, this one actually does look really shiny right here. But um, I take that slightly not blinding chrome like my airbrush uh, for the durability. It's just super durable. Now here, we put it over. Let me show you the difference. This is over. All I did was gloss coated the gray plastic. See, it's a gray plastic. So that's it, gloss coated. It's got... A shiny aluminum look to it I guess I don't know this is it dull this had nothing on it at all these are the same two pieces you can see you can you see how the flat piece absorbs the light see it now this looks gray right there almost like color shifting till I tip it and there's the chrome really it's like I didn't realize it was that much of a color shift effect Wow look at that you don't you even get it with this one a little bit when you get to the shadowy but not so much dead on that is awesome now I sprayed it over this blue um, I have a piece here that sprayed metallic blue so I sprayed the chrome over it and once again it's gonna be like color shifting see that isn't that nice so I'm, I've done this with my other paints particularly the all clad over different colors I don't get this look at all it just dulls right out whereas this this seems like it, it becomes a whole other paint over different colors. Now here it is over that candy wrapple red. Isn't that beautiful? Now off camera here, let me grab some. This is the uh, this is the green stuff world over candy apple. Oh, it's zero. This is my zero chrome because I was practicing with it. See the difference? So there's going to be the difference, I guess, even when we go in. But this is kind of splotchy looking. It doesn't look great. And I guess this is more of that anodized look. So uh, now I'm going to show you what happens when you just spray it heavy over a bigger needle. I use a different airbrush and sprayed it heavy. This is over black, gloss black, but that's how it came out in the heavy needle. Um, beautiful paint. I mean, it looks like I, I sprayed. I, this is as smooth as glass. If you guys could imagine, it is just a great looking piece. But it's not. It's it was so. I thought it would have turned out like this. Look at the difference. But that's to a heavy air, uh, a fat needle. I think it was my badger, and it, the needle was just too big. It just came out too much, and you had to go really fine. That's why I shifted to the smaller needle, you know. Now here I tried to go, re as, this is as light as I could get it out of the badger. <laughs> See? It real, now it's really black chrome. I mean, it's not even close to this. See? But you're going to get different effects, different ways you apply it. 
I think this looks awesome. So uh, it really is like getting several colors out of this one giant jar, particularly if you're going to put it over different colors. I'll put it on heavy like this and get the uh, um, flat steel looking color of it all while putting it over color. Now, durability, I just showed you guys it's incredibly durable. Um, let me pause the camera. I'm going to go blast some gloss coat on it and let's see what happens. Give me one second. All right, guys, I just gloss coated it with this uh, Vallejo, Vallejo, Vallejo uh, acrylic gloss varnish. Now, they recommend 2K. Um, not everybody out there has 2K. Um, mine's locked up in the other room. I didn't even bother uh, mixing it. I know it works great. But this is that Vallejo, Vallejo sprayed over it. Now, it took a little bit away, but not much. It, it took... It took the gloss really well, and they recommend, um, if you want, you can gloss it, and they recommend you don't need it, and I, I honestly don't think you do, because this stuff is durable. But if you want to coat it, just to be sure, it took my that gloss coat in the spray can, and it took it quite well, because a lot of them turned really dull and makes it look like silver. It didn't do that here. It took a tiny bit of the shininess away, and that's about it. Um, my go-to chrome still is green stuff world I labeled my spoons um, it's durable you know it's not as durable as this I know that but it's pretty close but in price wise y y this can't be beat even at the 30 bucks after shipping you're just gonna get so much done with this and again it's other applications work great particularly if you want to change the colors all together spray it over colors I just think it's a great product uh, overall so I give it my uh, my thumbs up I do like it and um, I recommend it I'll put a link below where I bought it from I got it on Etsy but I'll put the direct link below for you guys and I'll put the links for my airbrush on there too um, you guys are always asking about that and I want to show you one more thing before I say goodbye uh, I am working on my own paint lineup and um, just to show you here is the red and uh, here I am testing it look at that I think we are going to go with a uh, an enamel for the reason that you can brush it and you can airbrush it. It's going to give you guys too. This is brushed. Look at that. I brushed that over. You can see the lines where I brushed it over a primer. So look at nice and smooth. So I think that's why I'm going to stick with uh, an enamel. But I'm also going to be doing uh, a, la a lacquer lineup at the same time. Um, I'll show you what I mean, but here's a, here's a graphite gray. Look at that. Uh, just a little sneak peek, guys. Just a little sneak peek. I wasn't uh, revealing this quite yet, but I want to show you what I've been doing. How's that? My orange. <clears throat> it's actually called flame red. I call it orange. Look at that. That beautiful or what? Let's see what else I can show you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> this is a silver and it's going to be gloss. Right there. Here is a flat black I'm working on. Look how nice and flat that is. Oh, sorry guys, I bumped the camera as I'm reaching across. Uh, this is a green gold. Isn't that beautiful? That's straight over black. And this is over white. I'm working on the logo as we speak. Check out the red. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So anyway, that's a quick look. Here's a gunmetal. It's got that bluish tint that some gunmetals have. I do like it. it. Looks just like the jar. Is that beautiful or what? Now, uh, the unique thing I'm going to do with these is I'm going to offer them in matte or gloss. So you're going to have a choice. Like this orange will be like this, shiny, or matte. You're going to have a choice. We're going to have uh, each color is going to have its own gloss and its own matte, the same color. I thought that would be a unique twist uh, on the Mecca Paint lineups. And you guys can choose what you want, flat or gloss. Some guys will take the gloss, lay it down, 
do their panel lining, then mat it. I like to spray a lot of mats. Um, a matte red I will use in certain spots, so I'll, I'll take a flat red. That way I don't even have to put the matte coating over it. And that's the angle I think I'm going to take. And I'm going to do some lacquers. Hold on a second. Now the lacquers will be uh, airbrush only. Uh, this is a Dusk Pearl. Look at that. It's hard to see. There you go. See it? And that was uh, sprayed straight out of the jar. So it's going to be a different thing. The lacquers will be straight airbrushing ready. And you can't brush them. It'll be airbrush only. And then uh, the enamels will be brushing or airbrushing. It'll be your choice. And uh, that's what I'm working on behind the scenes. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, the further along I get, uh, it's moving pretty quickly. So uh, I'll give you guys an update uh, every few videos. All right. Anyway, this video was for the Chrome from Duralumin, and uh, I do like it. Thumbs up on it. It's super strong, and uh, for that, it gets my uh, approval. And uh, anyway, thanks, guys. You hey, guys have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you soon. I got plenty more to show you. Particularly, we're going to finish off the rest of these Chromes, and we'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a going, guys.